It's known as the Green Mile. The three closing holes at Quail Hollow Club. Is that a mile? That's a long way. A brutal stretch of fairway, greens, and water hazards. At 1,175 yards, the final trio of holes routinely plays a stroke above par. It's one of the hardest finishes, you know, we play on tour. It's a very demanding stretch of holes. Players who finish that stretch in even par gain nearly a stroke on the field. That can make or break your round. It's all about the tee shots. I mean, all three of those holes are demanding tee shots. The secret to shooting a good score at Quail Hollow? Have it by the time you reach the 16th tee. Par 4, 16 is a tough hold. 16 is one of the hardest par 4s we'll play. For some reason, I don't like that tee shot. I struggle in that hole with my tee shot. It's a tough fairway to find. It's one of those where if you drive in a good position and the pin's on the right, you can attack it, but you can't go over the green. If you go over the green, you're dead. It's kind of hole if you hit a good tee shot, you can, you've got a real good chance at four, but if you don't hit a good tee shot, now it's a tough five. And that green's a very tricky green for a long hole. The green's are usually firm here, so it's very hard to hold the green. It's one of them holes you're really looking for a par. And it only gets harder from there. Everyone knows about 17 to par three, one of the hardest holes we play all year. It's an awkward hole. 17, that's just brutal. The 17th hole is ranked as one of the top five toughest par threes nine of the last 10 years and was number one in 2008. I'd take four pars every day and then definitely cut the field by quite a few shots. The green is kind of running away from you and right to left. And it's a difficult shot. And if it's into the wind or there's any elements out there, it's, it's really hard to hit the green. And that being said, I don't really ever look at it as a birdie opportunity. Then there's the 18th hole, which is just short of impossible. Most of the trouble is going to be on the tee shot, avoiding the bunkers, avoiding the water hazard on the left. And that's very demanding and very intimidating. Past champions are a combined 129 under par for the tournament. But only once has a winner ever finished the green mile under par for the week. No one is safe here. This tournament's not over until that final puck goes in, because anything can happen in those last holes. 